everyone, CNC Noni here, and thank you for tuning in. I thought of doing something a little different for today's video, and recreate one of my favorite desserts from one of my favorite restaurants, Mastro's Warm Butter Cake. Every time I head up to Chicago, I'm always craving this dessert, so I thought, why not just create this at home? There are a bunch of recipes out there for someone like me who's not a great baker, but I found a recipe that looks and tastes just like the restaurant version. So today, I'm going to replicate the recipe and the presentation just like they do at the Mastro's restaurant. So, if you're interested, keep watching and let's go bake. First, let's prepare the cake batter. I'm using a stand mixer, but you can use a hand mixer too. Have the beater set to medium low to cream butter, cream cheese, and sugar for one to two minutes until the butter and cream cheese has a smooth consistency. Add two eggs one at a time and beat on low for 20 seconds after each addition. I've added salt and flour into my baker and will be adding about half each time so I don't make a mess and everything gets incorporated well. Next, pour in your pure vanilla extract. But make sure you beat this at a low setting so the mixture is not over beaten and you want the batter to be light and fluffy. Set the batter aside and let's move on to prepare the cream cheese layer. I'm using the same stand mixer to combine cream cheese and sugar first. Mix for about two minutes on a low to medium setting before adding in one egg and vanilla. Mix for another three minutes until you don't see any clumps from the cream cheese, then set aside. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius. This recipe will make about four mini cakes, the size they serve at Mastro's, so I'll be using a mini springform pan and we'll spray it with a little baking spray. You can also use a ramekin or mini souffle pan. First, pour the batter into the pan about three-fourths full, then top it off with a layer of the cream cheese mixture. Bake for about 60 to 70 minutes or until the top of the cake is golden brown. Let's plate this up Mastro style. Choose any dinner plate and place your cake in the center. Place a few mandarin oranges and cut up strawberries around the cake. Top the cake off with a generous scoop of vanilla ice cream and drizzle a little berry sauce on the top of the cake and fruit. I wish I had a sauce bottle, but I had to improvise with a plastic bag this time. And I may have gone overboard with the drizzle, but hey, that's A-OK. -okay. Finally, top it off with a sprig or two of fresh mint. What do y'all think? How does it look? Maybe it doesn't look exactly like the real deal, but the taste is definitely on point. It's crispy on the outside and warm, buttery, and gooey on the inside. Mmm, enjoy! Thanks for watching. See you next time.